The year was 1925. The place, a cultural hotbed called Harlem. On any given night, the groundbreaking novelist Gene Toomer might be in the living room of a well-kept brownstone, working on his future masterpiece. Zora Neale Hurston might be there too, in all her glory, forever changing the way we talk about each other, word by word. Artistic virtuosos like Bessie Smith, Cab Calloway, Duke Ellington, and Aaron Douglas might be holding court. These profoundly talented artists, thinkers, writers, and friends are icons of the Harlem Renaissance. Almost a century later, a new Renaissance movement is taking place right here in Atlanta. It's happening all across the city, including right here on this fabled strip of concrete called Auburn Avenue, in a neighborhood dubbed Downtown East. In a city brimming with so many artists capable of carrying on the legacies of Bessie and County, Gene and Langston, it leaves us asking one question, who's next? I wonder where you come from. I dream of you. Did you plan to cast your spell on me? I breathe anew, then you appear. Peace had fallen over me, then came you. Then I came. <laughs> A perfect time and place in my life. Loneliness left me alone, giving way to steam. No, I am dancing to rhythm, refreshing and moving. Finally, singing to beats of a drama is hurting. Kim Leachman, and I'm the singer for Days Ahead. I'm Steve Wright, I'm the guitar player and producer for the group. We got together at his his then apartment and, um, and and the first song that he let me hear was something that he had worked on before, uh, which became You Move Me, our first cut our project. I play the deep of my lives, quietly tapping around me. I started singing and you know while he was playing it just felt right it just sounded right to us it felt good you know and uh, I don't know we just knew it instantly yeah we kind of coined a, a term that kind of hopefully describes you know on a style level what we do we call it jazz and roll which is kind of like a jazz approach to rock and soul I mean it sounds sort of corny but it, you know <laughs> at the same time it describes you know what we are because you know in, in this industry you got to be in a box so if we got to create a new box then fine we'll do that. Nationally I think Atlanta is mostly known for hip-hop. Uh, maybe some rock. Yeah maybe a little. Just a little but mostly you know hip-hop you know way before we got here that it was this underground scene of just killing bands, artists that's out there, you know, doing their thing, merging different genres together, you know, doing what they love doing, coming from the heart, the soul, the spirit, right? And um, and, uh, and and making making it happen for themselves. And it's just because of how the industry is, if it's not this streamed line, then ain't nobody gonna get it. Well, you know, and that's a lie because people do get it. Um, and people make money. You know? We like, we like Julie, she's Yeah, I was about to say Julie Dexter. Welcome. Groove Conspiracy, International Groove Conspiracy. Your girl right here? Faith Carmichael. <laughs> Beautiful, bluesy, jazzy vocalist. Uh, we're working on another album, so uh, we're hoping for some financial backing this time, because it came all out of our pocket last time. No, not that deep. <laughs> The most enjoyable part, just period, about being an artist is that I'm able to do it. 
and I'm able to do something that I'm passionate about, something that I love, you know, not just preaching about it anymore. Do what you love doing because this life is too short, you know, and, um, and if you got to work, work at something you love, you know, I'm actually living it. It ain't like we rich, but we make enough to pay our bills and to, you know, go places every now and then, you know, but we're happy. And that's the key for me, you know, just being happy. To learn more about how you can join the next movement, RSVP for next, or vote for who you think is the next big thing, visit our website at www.nextatlanta.org. 